welcome to Nesting Story. If you're new here, I'm Joanna, and I have four kids, and right now we're living in a brand new world. My kids are going to be off at least until April, our schools have shut down, and I've had to think about how our family's going to function during this time. And one of the first things I did when I found out that the schools were closing was choosing to create a very stress-free environment for my kids and turning life into a positive, having things to look forward to, and also creating structure. So I've made the decision to try to put out three videos a week like I used to, so Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, um, on home, lifestyle, DIYs, clean, cleaning videos, but also uh, videos that are really relevant to what we're all going through, including advice from a mom of four, and also just relating and connecting and us feeling like we have a friend, like as if we're just sitting down for a cup of coffee. So my kids and I sat down and we brainstormed a whole bunch of ideas of things you can do at home to keep us busy. So I thought I would share those with you. I have created a blog post to go with this so you can have that list for yourself and use these. I think there's some great ideas here and I was very impressed with them. And some of them are kind of specific to our home or our area, but I'll give you some examples of what we have here. A paper plane contest, an egg drop contest. That's when you have an egg and each kid will engineer something to see if it can absorb the shock and not break. We'll probably do that outside and drop it from our playground. Go for bike rides. Do chalk on our driveway. We're going to go get craft supplies from the dollar store. We're going to do popsicle stick creations. We're also going to do marshmallow and toothpick creations. We're going to have a picnic, probably in our backyard. We are going to play road hockey and go for a hike. We're going to make a movie with stuffies. They're stuffed animals and we're going to do a little play and we're going to film it and edit it and then watch it together. We're going to have a scavenger hunt. We're going to have movie times complete with a concession stand. So we're going to get some candy and goodies. And one of my kids had the genius idea, this is my nine-year-old daughter, Bo, of getting some Monopoly money and they pay for their candy she goes this is a way we can limit how much candy we eat and you put prices towards the candy and not only is that genius for limiting the candy for this they're learning because we gotta catch up on some education here and we're missing out on a lot right now so that was super smart they want to play with pokemon cards and we're going to do board games we're going to read we're going to create an obstacle course in our backyard we're going to have a race. We are going to build a big fort in our basement, move our sectional around and get blankets and pillows and make it really epic. We are going to bake together. We're going to cook meals together. We're going to make homemade Play-Doh and play hospital. We're going to have an engineering contest. So this I believe was to be with boxes and create structures and you put weight on it, see who's can stand the longest. We are gonna create a popsicle stick bridge structure. We are gonna do Pokemon roulette. So get new Pokemon cards, wrap them up in different packages, roll dice, they get to open them and then they can trade them all after. They're really into Pokemon right now. We're gonna paint some dollar store bird houses. They're gonna have sleepovers in each other's rooms. We're going to play Toy Store, again, with the Monopoly money, kill two birds with one stone, there's some education there. We're gonna play Uno, and also, we're going to teach the kids how to play some games with playing cards. I'm optimistic and trying to just reframe what this time is gonna look like with my family. I know that I am in a situation that is unlike a lot of other families where I work from home and I can be with my kids. I will be doing a separate video fairly soon about the schedule I have created. Um, 
I think kids thrive off of routine. I know I do and I know my kids do. And I think that routine can really reduce stress. I think it's important to have a time to wake up and the, get dressed. Don't stay in your pajamas till noon. Have breakfast, brush your teeth. Then we'll have a chunk of time for some schoolwork. We'll have reading time, we'll have screen time, etc. This is really important for myself because I do work from home and I need those chunks of time. But this is also really important for them. Um, my kids are five-year-old twins, a nine-year-old daughter, a ten-year-old son. So it can get chaotic and this is a lot of time home together and I think that creating structure and creating routine and a schedule will be really important. So that's something I'm going to be sharing fairly soon with you. Let me know in the comments below if you have any ideas to add to what you can do with your kids at home and also for future videos about what you will be wanting to see more of right now in this interesting time. So be sure to check out my blog post which I've linked below with all of those ideas. And also don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I insta story a lot so you can feel like we're kind of hanging out in real time. If you haven't subscribed yet, I'd love for you to subscribe and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.